roughness could really be driven by that and slip. Stick that into the alpha of that, into the roughness, and then. That's zero. Should just really bring these in scale up parameters rather than just converting them. But anyway, it's done now. So we'll call this rough low clamp. This one we're going to call rough high clamp. So this will clamp from the white part of the lip mask and this will clamp from up from the low part of the okay and we'll grab all that and comment it roughness. All five. Now, uh, there's another thing we need to a problem we need to solve, which is the way the double sided works. So, if we look at it in here, we have black faces, which are basically the back sides, black faces being rendered and the way that this the default uh, renderer works for this for double sided faces is it tends to make them darker on the back side which we don't want because it makes the planes really obvious and it just looks a bit rubbish so we need to fix that so to fix the, the issue with the two sided not working, we need to use a two sided sign um, which basically flips the normal, your normal map on the other side but makes it basically behave the same way as the other, as the front side does. Um, so if we multiply our normal map by the two sided sign and then plug that back into the normal. Apply. There you go. Fixes that. So now our grass is a lot more uniform, which is good. Right, looking at this, I think this normal map's a bit strong. I'm getting this really strong line. So I'm just going to reduce the power of it a bit. So I'm just going to multiply in constant vector to get him out of the way. Combine those two together. Set this up uh, 0.5. 0.5. And uh, channel of one, apply. Yeah, I think that makes my grass work a bit nicer. So, there we go. So, that's that. So, the last thing to add to my grass will be some wind. So, if we do search for wind, I'm going to use this simple grass wind um, because it's cheap and um, easy to set up. So it has a few things we need to set up within it. 
the first one is wind intensity, so we uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a scalar parameter at this time, which is what these all are. I just bring them in and then convert them. You can just bring them straight in as scalar parameters. If you hit the S key and left click, it'll give you a scalar parameter. So I'm gonna call this wind intensity and I'm going to have the one wind speed and that's it for those two I'll set that to something like 0.5. Set that to something like 0.5. Now, for wind weight, we have already uh, specified that uh, through when we did the colouring of the faces with the vertex colouring max, which has all been brought through. So, what we need to do is activate that by going to vertex colour, drag in. Vertex color node in, drag in a vertex color node in, and we select the red channel because we painted red. And essentially, what that will do is it will weight the verts to basically power these. So, verts that are black won't receive any of this, verts that are fully red will receive all of this, and anything in between will be scaled. That's how it works. Uh, just under wind intensity, I'm going to put this into a group called wind, and I'll put this with wind as well. Let's put that together. Same with this, I'm going to put this in a group called roughness, and this in a group called roughness, and. And we've got all of that and the other thing is this additional WPO uh, it just basically needs the texture plug it into it that we're using uh, so I think we can just go from here but we can take it from the end of here and just plug it in and then take that and plug it into world position offset have any luck, we'll get something that is jiggling. Which it is. And if you're wondering why all this is jiggling, it's because this doesn't have any vertex color on it. So, I was comment this as wind. And that's our basic shader for doing grass. Um, apply. And let's have a look at it. There you go. Your grass is waving. Now, there's, obviously, there's plenty of stuff we would want to fix about this. Uh, so what we'll do is we will uh, set this up with a grass instance instead and then we can play with it.